A decision made late yesterday will change who can become a leader within the Boy Scouts. And for one advocate on Long Island, the change is a major step forward. Files one Cecilia Dowd has that story. In a 45 to 12 vote Monday, the Boy Scouts of America ended a national ban on gay leaders. David Kilnick, CEO of the LGBT, Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual and Transgender Network, applauds the decision. Anytime we end discrimination against anyone in our country, whether it be because of one's sexual orientation, whether it be because of one gender, race, religion, um, or any other demographic factor, um, you know, we move forward as a country. Kilnick says over the years he's heard from many people about their experiences in the Boy Scouts, whether as a Boy Scout or trying to become a leader within the Boy Scouts. Many of them, all of them pretty much felt that they had to keep it in the closet, they had to be quiet, and they couldn't truly live the values of what being a scout means. And that means being true to yourself, being able to do good for the community. Some religious organizations were not happy with the decision. The Mormon Church, a sponsor of many local scout chapters, released a statement that said in part, the admission of openly gay leaders is inconsistent with the doctrines of the church and would have traditionally been the values of the Boy Scouts of America. But the new policy still does allow for local units to exclude gay leaders based on religious reasons. Kilnick and other members of the LGBT community say this is still discrimination. I have a, a lot of friends and family that have been very involved in the Boy Scouts all over throughout the course of their lifetimes. And they're all looking forward to the day when they can look at each other and see and breathe the equality that should be coming from the oath of all Boy Scouts. Reporting from Woodbury, Cecilia Dowd, Fios One News.